Yes. Okay, I hope so. I'm good today, that's for sure. So what do you see up on the screen, Carmen? Salt and pepper. I happen just to have salt and pepper. They almost look just like those ones up there, don't they? Well, they're not. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Take it up with the kitchen crew because I, I borrowed these from the kitchen. Okay, I did not steal them. I'm, I'm putting them back. So, how many of you like to use pepper? How many of you just like to use salt? How many of you like to use salt and pepper? I don't know if I use Oh, okay. Last night we had Oakley's um, birthday party and there was sweet corn. And so a lot of people like to put salt and pepper on their sweet corn or on their potatoes or on anything like that. I'm a pepper girl myself. That's what I like. What can you tell about the salt and the pepper shaker as you look at that picture up there? They're giving each other a high five. Other a high five. Why do you think they're doing that? Teamwork. Teamwork. Mm, maybe? Because they, 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 both use, they go together well, don't they? Pepper is good, salt is good, but when they're together, it's very good. It's very good. <laughs> So, I have some other things in my bag here. <coughs> if you have eggs, what goes good with eggs? Okay, well, let, let's, let's think about something other than salt and pepper. Bacon! Who said bacon? Bacon! Bacon and eggs. That's always a good thing. If you have peanut butter, what goes good with jelly? Jelly. Okay, how many of you like strawberry jelly best? How many of you like grape jelly best? Oh, there you go. Okay. Right. And if I have a box of cereal, milk. Milk goes good with cereal. You're right. How many of you like just to have your cereal with no milk? Can I just say you're crazy? No, I'm not. So all of these things go together, right? Peanut butter and jelly, salt and pepper, bacon and eggs, cereal and milk, okay? They complement each other. They make things better when they're together. They're good when they're apart, but they make things better when they're together. The same is, the, is true for when, with friends. Hmm. What makes, you're fine by yourself. God's given you many good gifts. But you're always better when you have a friend. What makes, think about it, what makes a good friend? What makes a good friend? Isabella. Okay, you have something in common. That's right. Sometimes you and your friend have something in common. Do you always have to have something in common? Sometimes you can be very different. You can be like salt and pepper, right? One is um, salty and one's not. You know? <laughs> Jen, and that laugh was way too much. <laughs> no, but pepper is, is bitey when you put it on things. It can be very bitey. It's black, salt is white. All right? What else makes a good friend? You have something in common, what else? Oh, you like to do things together? Okay, Jacob. God and you. Okay. You both like you both love God. And so that's something you want to call God and Jesus, okay? Um how about a friend never leaves you behind? Never leaves you alone. A good friend always looks out for you, right? A good friend um, is there for you when you have a birthday party and you're so excited and a friend is there for you when you're very, very, very sad. And you have each other to lean on. There's a song Mr. Chuck would know. Lean on me, 
when you're not strong, and I'll be a friend. I'll help you carry on. Oh, Mr. Brick knows that too. You know, we've just mentioned some things that make for a good friend. Here's the next question. And this is about you. Are you a good friend? Are you a good friend? Jocelyn, what makes you a good friend? You care for your other friends when they get hurt, right? Sandra. You help them. Maybe they need help with their homework. You don't do it for them, right? I don't even help my sister. You don't even help your sister. Evidently, she's not your friend. Oh, I didn't make you a Our goal is to have a good friend and to be a good friend. But what happens when there's no friends around? You're lonely, right? There's something we can all remember, though. Jesus is a friend that sticks closer than a brother. Jesus is always there for us. If our friends forget about us, even for a day, and we feel very alone, Jesus is there for us. He's with us, but salt and pepper, peanut butter and jelly, bacon and eggs, and cereal and milk. He's so... He is there for us all the time. Never forget that. He is your best, best friend. Okay? Hey, hands up high. Hands down low. Hold them in front, just like so. Father, we thank you that you have given us Jesus and that he is a friend that will never leave us. In good times or bad times, he is always there. The only time that he's not with us is when we forget him. Because he never forgets us. We thank you for that. That's a great word for us this morning. Be with our kids. Help them to grow strong and tall in their faith. We ask this in Jesus' name. And all God's kids said, Amen.